In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this A4 size poster in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have added this Empire State Building in the background. And then you can add some of your uh, headline here and then some detail about the poster. You can add some more detailed text and some contact details here. Uh, likewise, I have created a few more poster with some uh, different uh, designs here. So depending on your requirement, you can just choose the uh, slide. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide size to A4. To change the slide size, you need to go to design, go to slide size, select custom slide size and from the drop down list, you need to choose the A4 paper and then choose the portrait and click on OK. Then go to insert shapes, select the rectangle draw the rectangle covering whole of the slide shape outline make it no outline let me just uh, zoom out a little bit so it looks something like this now i'm going to cut this uh, some of the portion of this rectangle for that let me just go to insert shapes select the oval shape and draw the oval shape something like this and let me just uh, shape this one shape fill with some different color so that you know exactly what I'm trying to do and then I'm just going to make it uh, right mouse click go to format shape under fill increase the transparency so okay so this particular section I'm going to delete it okay you can see here all right so depending on your requirement you can just change the way you want okay so again if you want more or uh, less curve it's up to you whichever way you want so let it be like this and then I'm going to duplicate this slide by right mouse clicking and click on the duplicate slide. Uh, in case we need use for the future, we can just use that one. Otherwise, no need. So now I'm going to select this shape, hold the shift key, select this oval shape and go to the shape format, merge shape and I'm going to subtract. So I end up getting a shape something like this. Now I'm going to add one more rectangle here. Go to insert shapes, select the rectangle. Again, cover the slide with the rectangle shape outline, make it no outline shape fill. You can give some different color. Again, make it somewhat transparent. Again, I'm going to use one more oval shape. Now this time I'm just going to keep somewhat, you know, let me just make it and I will just try to make somewhat transparent. And I would like to use something like this. All right. You can see here again, you can just arrange the way you want. So maybe I would like to use like this. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this shape, hold the shift key, select this one more shape again, subtract. So you can see here I've got two shapes. So this particular shape, I'm going to make it no transparency and send this to back. And then I've got this one. So now depending on your requirement, you can just change the color you want. For example, I'm going to use this blue and one more light blue inside. All right. Now in this area, I'm going to add any image of my choice for that. Go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle, maybe here till here only shape outline, make it no outline and send this to back. Now this particular place I'm going to add the image for that you need to go to picture or texture fill just click on this one click on insert if you're using any image which is available locally in your PC you can select from the file or if you are using some latest version of PowerPoint you can directly uh, download it from the online pictures so I'm just going to click online pictures and here I'm going to just choose any image of the building I'll just say sky scraper all right and i've got you can see here different uh, images so depending on your requirement you can just choose whichever you feel better for example let me just choose maybe i'll go with uh, this one and click on insert and you can see here you have got the image here all right so once this is done what you can do is you can add some more uh, details here for that go to insert shapes I'm going to select one oval shape draw one oval shape like this all right shape outline make it no outline and I'm going to add one more uh, rectangle right uh, right uh, triangle 
so this triangle i'm going to make it like this again shape outline make it no outline let me just move it here so that you know exactly what i'm trying to do and then i'm just going to rotate it and you can see here i'm going to make it flip vertical let me just put let me just give some different color so that you know exactly what i'm trying to do and i'm just going to rotate it something like this all right now i can just right mouse click edit point and i can give more curve shape here you can see here and if i send this to back so it looks something like this again if you want you can just reduce the size whichever way you want and then both of these shapes i'm going to merge it so it looks something like this all right and then for this i'm going to give some different color and i'm going to put it here bring to front all right and rotate it a little bit like this here and one more i'm going to make it press ctrl d to duplicate shape fill you can give any color of your choice again i'm going to rotate it you can see here again i'm going to rotate flip horizontal and i'm just going to keep it here both of these shapes make sure that it is properly aligned and if you want to give some transparency effect you can give some transparency effect for both of this all right so it looks something like this now here you can add any text of your choice i'm going to make it your headline here okay center align make it white font make it bold i'm going to use the font called futura and increase the size okay so it looks something like this and then you can add uh, like this is a kind of a company profile or an annual report for this i'm going to choose this particular shape draw this shape again rotate it to right 90 degrees and put it here all right shape outline no outline again if you want whichever color maybe pink if you want to go with pink you can go let me just bring this to the fit to slide and control d to duplicate and if you want to give some shadow effect you can give it and make it black increase the transparency rotate it a little bit and put it here let me just reduce the size and i'm going to send this to back so you can see here i have added some shadow effect also then you can go and write say annual report again i'm going to use the white font and any font of your choice increase the size maybe right left align is better all right or if you want you can make it one also now again whatever the text you want you can just add the text here for example i'm just going to say equals hello rem within bracket one i'm going to make it as a white font reduce the size all right so one text i have added here you can add one separator with the help of this line just add one separator by holding the shift key give any color of your choice maybe i'm going to give orange and then you can add the more details here like phone number website details and all those things i'm just going to cite zero one one two three you can see here i can just write any number here increase the size and put it here and any any images or any other different uh, color options you can just add it for this particular uh, poster